And on to game three, the, the end the card, your get out game, Vegas Golden Knights at the Vancouver Canucks, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Every night the in this schedule in the Western Conference is full of games that have a playoff impact, uh, and this being no exception. Vegas, of course, is desperate to grab a playoff spot, whether it's a third spot in the Pacific or the second or uh, first or second spot in the wild card. They trail the Stars by two points uh, for the final wild card headed into tonight. But more importantly, Vegas can actually seize control of the third spot in the Pacific. They will catch L.A. if L.A. loses tonight uh, with a loss at Chicago. So we'll see what happens for a team that was maybe not making the playoffs uh, a few days ago, and certainly a week ago, everybody wrote them off. Now they can actually be in the third spot in the Pacific Division, which means they would play that 2-3 matchup rather than having to play Calgary or Colorado in the first round. Now for Vancouver, of course, they have faint hopes of making the postseason. A loss tonight would absolutely put the dagger in their season. There's no way there's coming back from that. And I, I don't know if they're going to make the postseason anyway because there's still talk about – you know, Bruce Boudreau, who who did a fantastic job in Vancouver, but there's still been talk that he's not coming back next season. And, and I, I don't know how the players take that, but I don't think it's a positive. Let's take a look at tonight's number. Vegas on the road, a dollar thirty-five favorite, six under minus a dollar twenty. That opened at minus a dollar fifteen. So the under has been bet. Uh, down to a, or up to a dollar twenty, so we get some public money coming in on the under. I do expect a little bit later some public money coming in on Vancouver. Uh, betters love to take that that home dog, but I, I think Vegas is definitely better the better of the two, especially with a chip coming in uh, after that previous loss to Vancouver at T-Mobile. Listed goaltenders tonight: Robin Leonard versus Thatcher Demko. There is no doubt anymore who is the number one goaltender in Vegas in the eyes uh, of management there between Kelly McCrimmon and George McPhee. They certainly think Robin Leonard is number one. And the reason why that came up is because Dylan Thompson has played so well uh, for Vegas. I thought he got a lot closer to being maybe the one and one A guy uh, rather than not you know, being a third string, which he definitely is not anymore. Laurent Brassois is probably not going to play again for Vegas. And, and there is some interesting speculation coming out uh, for this game. We saw on uh, the other day or yesterday that Mark Stone uh, practiced with uh, the Golden Knights and has been practicing with the Golden Knights. He does not have a non-contact contact jersey on. So that means he's taking full participation in, pro in practice. And usually when full participation jerseys are on, that means he's ready to play. He is on this trip. Whether he plays tonight or he plays Thursday remains to be seen. But I do know this organization well enough to know that if he's on the trip and if he can play Thursday, he's going to play tonight. So Mark Stone, you can pencil him in as a return to the lineup. But with that being said, I've always said when you, you have top six players returning to the lineup, that means you have a trickle-down effect. That means you've got to do a lot of shuffling below him, and that does not mean automatically that that guy is going to be inserted and make an immediate impact in the lineup, which hardly ever happens. You have to take – you know, two or three games for his impact to be felt. And I think that's going to happen here. I was a little surprised that we saw some under money. I was hoping that we get some over money uh, with the fact that Stone might be back tonight, but not not so much. Still more than willing to give up a dollar twenty in this. Uh, for the Knights, they, where, when they are most effective, and you can bet they're going to be on their game tonight, when they are most effective, it's when they come out in the first player period and play a defensive defensively sound, structured hockey game. I don't know if those words all go together, but you get what I'm saying. You see in the Ws that they've had of late, they've actually absolutely come out and smothered their opponents, not even allowing double digits and shots until somewhere in the second period. Well, where did they not do that? Well, the last game against Vancouver is where they did not do that, and they ended up losing that game. I expect them to get back to that uh, more of a structured defensive game uh, that has been so successful for them uh, over the last couple of weeks. They also need, need, need to make sure that the power play, specifically the penalty kill, which has been just 
everybody wants to focus on the power play, which has been horrible as well. I mean, they're in the, you know, obviously in the bottom third in the league in the power play, but their penalty kills at 71% over the last month. Stay out of the box. Special teams is not your special right specialty right now. So if, if most games that we wager on, we want to make sure that uh, we either have the special teams going for us, uh, whether it's a positive or a negative as far as the way that they're playing. Uh, they need to stay out of the box because their penalty kill right now is not good. I think they're going to do that, and they've proven that they can do that uh, over the last couple of weeks. So let's take a look at tonight's official selection. The Knights, like I said, they're fighting for that playoff spot, but, but the reason they're fighting for the playoff spot is because of that inconsistency. There's no better trend to point to than their 9-2 and two under run, the game after scoring five goals or more. Uh, to me, it's an indication of a team that's trying to duplicate success from night to night, uh, the same success that they had in their previous game. That's been a trouble for uh, Vegas, especially offensively. The under is 18-7-2 and two when playing opponents that have scored five or more goals in their previous game. The bottom line to me is Vancouver quickly takes the confidence out of their opposition. We have seen that. And we're going to go with the under tonight, minus six, minus $1.20. By the way, that, that under statistic of 18-7-2, and two, that was for Vancouver when playing opponents that have scored five or more goals in their previous game. So we've seen a trend where Vancouver takes the air out of their opposition after coming in with a lot of confidence. We've also seen a trend where Vegas does not uphold what they just did and carry it over to multiple games so that's why i think tonight we're looking at an under six minus a dollar twenty